Hello, this is Young Morpheus back with another video. In this video, um, it's one which I fell crossed um, across all of my different platforms, whether it's the political matrix, been thinking with Young Morpheus, or Hebrew apologetics with Young Morpheus and Jose. Um, the channel Moxie Approved and We Woke uh, got together and they did a really good review of the Hebrew to Negroes um, movie slash documentary and book. And I think it's very important for us to be able to notice that there is a difference between the book and the documentary and to understand the conflation, a lot of the conflation that's being done with the media narrative that's going on. So without further ado, since it's quite a bit, this is part one and I think that it's probably going to break into about four parts. So hopefully this is informative. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to give a subscribe, hit the notification bell to my channel, of course, all three of them, um, whether that's The Political Matrix, Been Thinking with Young Morpheus, or Hebrew Apologetics with Young Morpheus and Jose, and also go over to Moxie Approve please click the notification on his channel and we woke now with pastor kelly thank you hope you hopefully you enjoy What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Told y'all I was gonna do this. Hey, before we get started, I'd like to say peace and love to everybody. First of all, I'd like to say shalom. And i also like to say peace and love to everybody of all races, of all creeds, especially y'all at them YouTube execs. How y'all doing? All right, uh, it's 48 of y'all in here. Hit that like button. Excuse my voice, all right? The FBI tried to take my voice away. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> it wasn't the FBI. I went to the football game today. Yeah, the Bills lost. I was very close, though. I had a great time. Uh, my voice is almost gone because I was screaming at them, them Jets devils. Them devils from the Jets. I was screaming at them, but it's fine. Uh, let me know where y'all from before we get started, man. I'm going to bring on some special guests on this. We're going to get going. You know where y'all from? Yeah, black people time as usual. What's up with you, Pete Martin? Ain't you over in Japan? I'm on time for your time zone. Uh, this is a little bit of honey and um, lemon. Shout out to We Woke. I just got off the phone. He was like, man, get yourself some honey and lemon, man. My voice is uh, pretty messed up. But uh, we got some very important stuff to talk about today. Please do me a favor. It's totally free. Hit that like button. We're gonna get started. I got some questions to answer. I got some questions to ask. And I got some questions to answer also. Um, uh, in case you're wondering what this is right now, we're about to go through the review of um, 
Tampa. Not the review of Tampa. We about to go through the review of uh, Hebrews to Negroes. Saying Tampa, what's up with you, Unsunken One? Sneak peek. We got George up in the house. Jacksonville. Let me open up this um. All right, let's get going. Born in Bronx, Lebanon. That's what's up. Let's get going. All right. Uh, so, how did we get here? How did we get here? Um, if you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, uh, there's a movie that Kanye tweeted out. Um, not too long ago. Not Kanye. Kyrie tweeted out uh, not too long ago last week. And it's been causing a lot of stir this week. And it's one thing that I noted. There are a lot of people talking about this movie, but there's, I don't want to say a small amount, but there's an amount smaller than what I would have perceived um, that it actually called the movie. Uh, I will say it, it, the price can't be kind of high. Um, I can't look at my funds like everybody has the funds like that, but I had no problem. Uh, Paying fifty dollars to own a copy of, or not physical copy, but to own a digital copy in my Amazon uh, account for this. Um, but I understand a lot of people um, have not brought it and have not done it, and I get it because you know a lot of people are not used to paying fifty dollars for a movie. Me personally, I know how hard it is for somebody without a major distributor to make a movie. Um, how much it costs, so I had no problem doing that. You can also rent it for ten dollars, but in the meantime, um, I'm in a minute, I'm gonna go through, it's gonna bring us to the point, uh, of where we at now and give a little bit more time for some other people to come on. Um, I'm expecting We Woke to come on, uh, and also give uh, some of y'all that's familiar with We Woke. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, expecting him to come on and also give a review uh, himself because he also saw the movie. And <laughs> we're going to get to that. It's a big surprise. We're going to get to that. Uh, but let's let's just take a short period of time to just catch us up. And I got to do it for the people to watch this on the replay. Let's just catch us up to where we are right now. Um, not, not totally, but let's just do this. Uh, Let's start with this. Now, I want to know, like I said, I'm going to be answering, asking some questions in the stream. I like my streams to be interactive. All right. So I'm going to ask some questions and I'm going to answer some questions. Um, the first one that I want to ask. Hold on, let me close all these windows here. I don't need all this. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I want. I want to. No, I ain't even going to speak on that right now. Okay. So here we go. I want to show y'all this, and um, y'all just tell me what y'all think. I um, I told y'all my last stream. Be prepared to be disappointed. Be prepared to be disappointed. And what I mean by that is, a lot of people that you might like or have liked or whatever the case. Uh, they're going to make some comments that is going to surprise you. And I, I'm going to say this one, this one surprised me. Let's just go straight to it. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Cause I don't want no echoing. We don't do, we don't do that echo stuff over here anymore. Let me see if I could, uh, get this to link up to my computer. Yeah, here we go. Let me do that right there. All right. Now this one right here surprised me. This one right here surprised me. Um, I want, I want y'all opinion on this. All right, here we go. Uh, man, um, I'm gonna let him speak. I'm gonna let him speak. I ain't gonna Kanye him. I ain't gonna Kanye. No, hold on, LeBron. <laughs> I ain't gonna Kanye him. Let's let him speak. Tell you, it's, a, it's simple. Um, me personally, I don't condone any hate um, to any kind, to any race, um, to 
Jewish communities to Black communities to Asian communities. Um, you guys know where I stand, and um, it's part of the reason why I didn't air the shop episode. Why well, we kicked that, you know, out of the archives because it was hate conversation going on there, um, and I don't represent that. There's no place in this world for it. Nobody can, can benefit from that. And um, and I believe, um, you know, the country did um, cause some harm to a lot of people. Um, and he has since, uh, over the last, I think, today or was it yesterday, I apologize. Um, but he caused some harm. And, um, and I think it's unfortunate, but I don't, um, I don't stand on um, the position to harm people when it comes to your voice or your platform or, or, or anything. Um, now, I'm lie, you got a few seconds on there. I got to c- cut it kind of short so they don't strike me. Uh, them TNT cats came after that uh, Charles Barkley. They sent me a notice the last stream when I played that Charles Barkley stuff from TNT that they was they wanted all the money from that uh, um, live stream or I, have to, I had to trim it out, so I had to trim it out. So y'all, I want y'all um, opinion about what you just heard right there. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, do you think that LeBron James is, uh, do you think he's a house Negro? Or I don't even want to say that, excuse my language. I'm going to say house Negro. They 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 looking for anything to strike people's pages. That's, I'm not going to say house Negro. Let's say, um, let's just go with sellout. Do you think that LeBron James is a sellout from this? Um, you know, I will say this. This is my second time watching this. The first time I watched it, I was scathing mad. I went straight to my Facebook. I started posting LeBron James. You ain't nothing. You never was number one. You ain't going to be number one. You just scored a lot of points, man. You ain't got all the rings that Kobe and MJ got. You know, listening to it now, it didn't sound as scathing. I still do believe. Well, let's let him finish. I don't know what he says in this final few minutes of this. Um, so it doesn't matter um, what color your skin is, how tall you are, um, what position you are in. Uh, you are uh, promoting or soliciting or, or, or saying harmful things to any community um, that harm people. Um, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't respect it. I don't, I don't, I don't condemn it. Now, okay, I hear him. I hear him. I, 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 I hear him. Um, it's 112 of y'all in here. Please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Also, do, do me one more favor. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that notification bell because we got one of the lit. We, we got the litest live on YouTube. In fact, let me repeat that. We got the litest live on YouTube. All right. Uh, that was kind of weird for y'all. Some of y'all know what's going on. The devil been trying to attack me. Uh, and you know, the devil be working through these snakes. And it's like, I come on here and do this knowledge. And then you got people that want to throw subliminals and all that. But I'm not about to use this uh, stream to go at that. I know that's just uh, uh, the devil, you know what I mean? Trying to get get me off my pivot at why I'm doing something positive. But I will say this. I can say this. I can say this so I don't take away from the stream. Um, say my name, say my name. I make another channel. Nigga, you get handled. You think that this is a game? Say my name, say my name. I make another channel. Nigga, you get... Man, I ain't even about to do all that. Anyways, LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. Somebody in the comment section beat me to this already. All right? Um... I think LeBron James could have easily said what he said without saying what he said. I think LeBron James could have easily went on there and say, hey, look, I don't condone any type of violence or hate or any group, which he started off saying it. Then he could have said, I don't know if that was what that movie is about. And I don't know if that was Kyrie's intention. If that was his intention, I definitely don't condone it. And then he could have just went to, okay, I had Kanye interview because some of y'all don't know Kanye went on his show to shop and they said they heard some of that rhetoric so they didn't clip it out and put the whole interview out he said as you saw right there 
they tossed the whole interview. Like they said, he said they knocked it out of the archive. So by him saying that, that means that there must not be no copy out there of it. If they copy out there uh, presents itself, you can kind of say that LeBron James was, was, was lying. But um, some of y'all saying no comment. I don't think he could have got away with it. But let's just be real. Let, 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 let's come on, man. What, what, who he dealing with? Thanos get to tap in the ring. Everything gone. When Thanos get to tap in the ring. What LeBron? Come on. All right. Everybody ain't gonna make it through this period that's coming up. I'm just gonna say that, including me. I might not make it through this period. One thing about me is I saw where this world was going to. I didn't. I don't tell people where I work at because I'm, I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all out there are gonna be talking this stuff on y'all social media, and y'all got Jane on your Facebook, and, and you've been outperforming Jane. All right. And they're going to take that stuff and they're going to put anonymous stuff to your HR. I'm going to go ahead and predict that somebody in the comment section right now, God forbid, but I'm going to predict that somebody in this comment section going to end up going through that. Watch what you posting online. We're not millionaires. We're going to get our message out. But some of y'all got babies and some of y'all got kids and these people ain't playing. I got, I got people on my page, on my face, personal Facebook page that's saying that hey man that's kind of wild y'all know that we don't have that much power we don't have that much control and it's like they're trying to explain to you what you're seeing with your own eyes how do you don't have that i've never seen anybody in the history of entertainment fall faster and quicker than kanye and Kyrie. we need to redefine what powerless mean what does if they're powerless what does powerless mean now i'm gonna stick to what i told y'all in my live or other live stream and it's not just because of YouTube, we'll be real with y'all. We, we, I'm not, the most high told me not to have hatred for those group of people. We were put under curses, okay? Just talk about who we are. I don't hate those group of people. Some of y'all been following me long enough to know one of my best friends is like Jew. Some of y'all, you can go on my Miami stream where I did World War III from Miami, right? I was sitting right next to you, white Jewish dude. I don't mention him like that because he's not my friend because he's white. All right, I'm not his friend because I'm black. I don't use him as some kind of token. That that plays no part in him being my friend, and he don't even believe in none of this. All right, that's like, <laughs> like he was the first person I, I talked to, and I was like, "Hey, man, I, I can't take for what I'm standing that's happening to my people," and, and he cut me off like, "Man, this ain't got nothing to do with me. You would have never will." And, you know, I flat out told him, I was like, yeah, if something happened with us and we're not friends, it ain't going to be because of that. <laughs> it's just because you acted like a whatever. Anyway, um, LeBron James, I don't know how to feel about that. All right. I don't know how to feel about that. I think that he could have went and just and just said that, you know, I, I don't think he could have got away with no comment. He's the biggest, one of the top most popular athletes in the world right now. They not let him get away with no comment. That's not happening. That's not. He had to say something. And I think I think Kyrie Kyrie Irving could have got out of this. I think Kyrie Irving could have been like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I didn't even watch it. I saw the title. If there's hating and this and that in it. I don't condone that, and I apologize. Um, and maybe I should need, I need to start watching stuff before I post. It. I think he could have got it out of, out of it like that, and I would have been okay with that. Another thing I'm gonna do. I'm about to, we got 138 of y'all in here. Please hit that like button. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Let me see how many likes I got. Don't, don't do your boy like that. Let's see how many likes I got. Oh, uh, that is. Thank you for the 499. Salute, Monty. What they doing to them brothers, in my opinion. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Um, but I also think that it's good. And I think it's good for our kids to see this and not all kids our kids and our kids and i mean people that think like us and that know like this, that can tell their kids what they're watching some of these kids that's raised in these ultra um ultra political families especially if they ultra left you know um 
You know, some black kids don't even have black parents. Them is the ones. And them the ones we need to be praying for. The ones that were adopted outside of our race because they they probably running a number on them right now. They probably have no choice or chance of when they're getting older believing and knowing who they are because they're being raised by whatever the case may be. And I'm not even talking about the Jewish community there. You know, I'm just talking about just regular white people. You know what I mean? Um, and they probably running a number on them. They probably running a number on them. Um, but the kids, our kids, the ones that notice, that see this, that you can explain this to them, it's going to spark their brain. They're not going to be afraid of these sanctions, if you want to call that, and these suspensions. So I actually am glad to see this happen. And because I'm about to get to this review. And um, I hope, Congress, matter of fact, let's just go to this now. I hope that this happens. And once again, if you had, wasn't on my last live stream, listen to what I'm saying when I say this. Like, I'm not saying this out of any kind of hatred, but I hope Kyrie Irving has already made a lot of money from basketball. And I've explained to y'all here before with some of these ignorant YouTubers, Hassan Campbell, um, Charleston White. And I say that because we're in a day where Bad publicity is the best promotion you can get. That's how Trump became president. Trump didn't come to become president from roasting all the Republicans. That was cool, and everybody loved to see that. But the moment where he ended up becoming a freight train and almost could not, right when he said, I can shoot somebody on fifth half in the head, and people will still ride for it. That was when they said, when the news said that Donald Trump had those Russian prostitutes, all right? Uh, and they went on, and he went on for a week. He said they're lying. There's no proof of this. They kept pushing the story, pushing the story. Then there was a moment, and I'm never going to forget it. It was that Shepard Smith guy, I believe, uh, when he was on CNN. I'm never going to forget the moment. Because that's when Donald Trump started saying fake news, fake news. So he came on there, and he was like, Donald Trump is despicable. How can you be running for president? And you talk about the media like that. You call us fake news. He did this whole interlude to it. It was one of the weirdest um, news segments I've ever seen. He did this whole interlude on how you have to be responsible running for president. You can't call them fake news. Then he said, I must announce that, yes, we CNN reported that, you know, there was a prostitution scandal that it has not been verified. And at that moment, Donald Trump became a, a runaway freight train. I say that to say this. I hope they don't let Kyrie back into the NBA. And I hope he gets remembered for that. I hope he don't get remembered for winning another ring or doing something else. I hope he gets remembered for this because this bad publicity is going to last long. And uh, I'm going to get to Ron, Ron Dalton. Shout out to that brother. Uh, man, he's living in his purpose right now. After watching that movie, it was clearly meant in my, in my perspective that he was clearly the one that was chosen by the most high to put this out. And all of this, all of this is meant to be. Let, 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 let's just put that out there right now. Jesus Christ. God, all right. God damn. It was meant to be. This was not no accident whatsoever. The most high meant for this. OK. And it's chilling to watch. On a positive side. And it's also chilling sort of in a negative way because I don't know what's coming next. So uh, let, let's go to this article right here. Um, 179 of y'all in here. Please hit that like button. Let's go to this article right here. Uh, because this is what we were talking about, but a lot of people don't understand this. It's a big possibility, Kyrie Irving, at least, at least for the Nets side of things, he might not be playing with the Nets again. Now, let's also put this out there. I'm I haven't read this article yet. We're about to read this together, but I don't believe it's just because of um, you know, this whole debacle with Hebrews to Negroes. I think it's also because, let's just be real, for them, in their eyes, Kyrie has been a problem since he's been there. No one wants to talk about the positive things he's done. No one wants to talk about how he got Kevin Durant to come there. The, the, the Boston Nets was garbage. They was nothing before Kyrie Irving went there. He transformed that team with his connections and with him taking the first move. He transformed them into a pretty good team. To be honest with you, it was at the wrong time. If they didn't go through that thing with the whole vaccine thing, and I'm not hating on Kyrie, uh, 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 he had the right not to do that. A lot of us have not been vaccinated. 
So he had the right to do that. And I stand with him on that. It was just bad timing. But I believe with him, Harden, they only played like nine, ten games together. And them boys was dope. I think them boys could at least went to the finals. Him, when we had him, Harden, and um and uh Durant, they were a scoring machine. I thought this team this year will be a little bit better, but Ben Simmons is a shell of himself, but we're not gonna get into that. All right, let's go here. Next owner, Joe Sai. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I think the T is silent. Joe Sai, um, reportedly completely done with Kyrie Irving. On Thursday, the Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie Irving has been suspended at least five games without pay. That decision was reached following Irving's promotion of a film. The Nets say is deeply disturbing and anti-Semitic hate. That right there, we about to get to that. Oh, my God. Anti-Semitic hate. <laughs> I mean, I could say some things. I could say some things because it's like this. I don't think God worked like this. I, I, I don't. I don't. Let's say that we're wrong. Let's say that we're wrong. And we really messing with God's folks. God don't work. He, he don't work with the whole um, fake labeling. He don't work. With he, he don't work. With Man in the media works like that. All right. Now it says they offered further explanation in the statement over the last several days. We have made repeated attempts to work with Harry Irvin to help him understand the harm and the danger of his words and actions, which begins with him publicizing the film containing the deeply disturbing anti Semitic hate. <laughs> Every time I hear that related to this movie, I'm in deep stuff. All right. Um, we believe that taking the path of education in this challenging situation would be the right one and thought that we had made progress in our joint commitment to eradicating hate and intolerance. The statement read, we are dismayed today when given an opportunity in the media session that Kyrie refused to unequivocally say he has no anti-Semitic beliefs nor acknowledge specific hateful material in the film. This was the first time he had the opportunity but failed to clarify. I disagree with that. I saw that he said, I'm not anti-Semitic because I know where I come from. He said, I didn't agree with the stuff they had to say about the Jewish community. He literally said that. I don't know what they want from him. Now it says the net general manager, Sean Marks, later said that Irvin's apology wouldn't be enough to lift the suspension and that he would have to meet the Jewish leader. So he apologized on Instagram. They're making him bow down. Look, they know it's all gone. It's all gone. I'm watching what I'm saying. I put a lot of work on this page. YouTube page. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. We ain't got no power. We ain't got no power. You talk a file about us. We ain't got no power. We can't do nothing. Job. Gone. Endorsement deal. Boom. Gone. Say, take my stuff away. I go on GoFundMe.com and try to raise funds. Gone. But we don't have no power. My channel bigger than y'all, bitch. It says, now, even if those meetings do occur, it may not be enough. Now, see, this is what I don't like right here. And if I'm Kyrie Irving, this is what I'm going to do. They probably won't like that. And it probably would uh, uh, make it worse. But I, me personally, I'm saying this. Hey, look, y'all need to let me know. I apologize. I did everything I can. But if you're telling me, Meeting with all these Jewish leaders and all that still may not be enough. Then why I get started? Why I get started? So you're going to make me go through all of that. And then after all of that, still not put me back on the team. Take my contract or trade me. And then I, I tell you what, if he's done here, I don't think I think he's done in the NBA. I think I think he's done in the NBA. And, you know, I can sit here and say that that's a good thing, which I am saying. The bad publicity, it's going to be always remembered. And he's going to be in our Hall of Fame. He's going to be in our Hall of Fame. Um, but I'm not Kyrie. And I might be devastating him because the guy likes to play basketball. But I'm just saying, and that's one thing that I realized in Hollywood. I saw what was going on in Hollywood. I got tired of the auditions. I saw what they were doing to me. And I saw what they were trying to They were trying to use me as stereotypes. And it ain't me personally. Y'all still don't know my name. I probably could go, I can give y'all my name. It ain't nothing. They took my name and gave it to a, 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 um, a, a popular character. I can't even Google my name anymore. That was done purposely. I know that for a fact. I have, I've been on mad TV shows. I've been on movies multiple times. I've been to those parties. I did not, it's a lot of stuff I didn't do. When I say they though, I'm gonna say the industry. I'm not saying that community. 
I'm saying the industry. But I I saw what they were doing to me. And I, I one thing about it, once you know you are required, once you are given the information, you are required to 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 how you respond to it. I didn't want to be a part of that. I saw what they were doing. I did not want to be a part of that. And it's one thing I realized. I still have some boxes I got to check. I still want to do my comedy special. I need that intellectual property. But there's one thing that I realized is that you only get one life. And if you really believe in what we really believe and what your purpose is, there's a lot of more important things out there than any of my personal accomplishments. And the same for a lot of y'all out there. Too. There's nothing I have going on. I got a lot of stuff going, stuff going on right now. There's nothing I have going on that's more important than this. There's nothing. All right. Um, during an appearance on First Take, Stephen A. Smith revealed uh, it's 235. Y'all in here hit that like button. Stephen A. Smith said, I already know. From what I've been told, your side is completely done with Kyrie Irving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you should have been on there talking all that. You know, that's how he talking. Let me see if you want to hear him for a second. From what I've been told, Joe Sy is completely done with him. He's dealing with him because he's under contract. Okay, so there's a lot. With but that. he's completely done with Kyrie Irving. Okay, it's a lot. You see how they write this? He's saying he's not done with him like he's ready to get rid of him. It's just like he's done with him. It's just he has to deal with him because of the contract. I think he only got one more year on his contract. And, yes, Irving has been a distraction due to some of his personal beliefs, including theories about the flat earth and COVID-19 vaccine, vaccinations, but promotion of an anti-Semitic film was a straw that broke the camel's back. If not for a player option, Urban would be already out of Brooklyn. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I think right now, if they get him out right now, he finished. If they get him out, it says, if not for a player option, Urban would be already out of Brooklyn and following the latest rounds of issues, it's hard to imagine he'll ever Put a Nets uniform on again. Now, this is interesting. You mean to tell me you've made a list of this stuff or this guy to go through, and you're saying that you can go through this, and that still don't mean we're going to put you back on the team? I don't have time for this if I'm Kyrie. I, I don't. And to be honest with you, at some point, the brother probably needs to double down. He does, because now everything you're doing, they don't even you don't even know you're, you're, you're tap dancing and you don't even know if they're going to put it on the show. <laughs> you don't even know what's about to go on. All right. Um, Sorry, it looks like I missed something. We got a new member in there. Hey, Mr. Knickerbocker, I appreciate you. Welcome to membership. Moxie Mob, I appreciate it. So now. The film, the film, let's get to that. Let's not hold on any longer. Let, let, let us talk about this. Um, I'm going to first play this. This is kind of great moment. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Um, uh, you know, Brother Mike probably won't. Strike me, but yeah, I don't like putting the power in other people's hands. So they saying, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, moderators, please help me out. We got some, um, okay, good. I think y'all got rid of it. We, we, uh, we got some, um, hey, it's 239 of y'all in here. Please do me a favor. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I think what I'm going to have to do here, because it's looking like, um, uh, you, you dropped your name a few times by accident. Yeah, man, I ain't got nothing to hide. I don't care. I just need to still be employable. Um, if it's 236 of y'all in here, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I think I'm going to make this a subscriber only uh, uh, chat because it's looking like we're getting some um, some bots in here. Hey, Blacklight Revelations. Thank you. Uh, Blacklight Revelations. All right, good looks, man. He said, fuck, we're gonna fuck around and find out. Good looks. Y'all make sure y'all go black, follow Blacklight Revelations, man. That 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 brother be dropping it on his page, man. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge he be dropping on his page. Um, so let's go to this right here. Uh you never thought this day would come. And no, it is not a dream. It's very real.
Now, I'm, uh, that's a little bit of the trailer um, for the movie. So let's get into it. I made some notes. Let's get into it. Um, now, because I know all y'all, it, 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 it would be, uh, it, it would be very, um, uh, idiotic of me to assume that everybody here saw my last stream so let me just go ahead and introduce how i'm going to review this or how i did review this um i had to look at it from both ways i had to look at it entertainment and i had to look at it for substance so some of this is what i'm going to give you is going to be a review uh that's entertainment based um i have short film on Amazon Prime, actually, I am a director myself. Um, I have some very dark, dark material. Uh, if someone's trying to light on one of my projects on Amazon Prime, I'll probably. Do that. I'm not gonna lie, I got. I have one dark, very entertaining short film. Adult short film. I got raving reviews on it. I actually was in about twenty short film festivals. I won multiple awards on it. Um, it was just a very uh, non-PC idea. Uh, so I'm going to talk about it from director to director. But then the biggest part, of course, that we're here for is I'm going to talk about the substance of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, uh, Rolling Stones article about it and break down the lies in there. First of all, let me just say this right now. Ron Dalton needs to be the lawyer. And he needs to see all those media factors that put out all those lies about this. I was in pure shock. But now, let me tell you what I, I, I did. I looked at this. I looked at it. And I looked for anything that if I was not um, one of the originals, that I would get offended by. All right? Um, not saying that it is late, not saying that it is what they're saying, but I wanted to connect what they were saying in the news to, in Rolling Stone, exactly, to what I saw in the film. The saddest thing about all of this is most of the people that's talking about this movie have not seen this movie. And um, I have wasted a lot of my precious energy on Facebook uh, arguing with people and then I realized today, after watching the movie, I don't want to talk to nobody or argue with anybody who has not seen the movie themselves because they're just going off of that Rolling Stones article. And I want to say in a general sense, there's some stuff I'm going to connect. But I'm going to say in a general sense, that article was a huge lie. Even, even when I tried to force myself to look at it from their angle, I couldn't put it together. The only thing that I got from it is that I will be mad that black people are in front of this information. I, I, if uh, there's some parts on it where it was like, yes, if I was from that community, I would not look. I went to the game today. I saw all different types of people. On the way back from the game, I saw some of them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe my mind is playing with me but the looks they gave me was just kind of like it was just kind of like a suspicious look like like how are you looking at us and it was orthodox and the funny thing about it is this is not new information to me it's just now they know that at a wide base a lot of us are put in front of that so it kind of did look like to me when i saw them coming off the train a group of them they definitely was looking at me. I was amongst a whole bunch of white people, and I just kind of stuck out because I came from the game. Um, maybe it was my head playing with me, but I, I it wasn't no hateful look, but it was like, 
they I saw him looking at me, then I looked at them, and then they were sort of looking like, why is he looking at us? Is he looking at us because of that? And I'm looking at them like, why are you looking at me? Are you looking at me because of that movie? <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Y'all already know. I've already told y'all. I don't have. Those people were empowered by the curses. Okay. They were empowered by the curses. I have no hatred towards that. Them people. All right. Shoo, man. I'd have been through more. Man, let me shut my mouth. Now, I'm just going to say it. I'd have been more. I'd have been through more from Mexicans than I had. Nah, I've been through a lot in Brooklyn from that community too. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. <laughs> let's just move on. All right. Um. So let's start off with some of the technicalities. I think that the movie. I didn't like how it started. And what I'm saying is, it wasn't the information. The substance in this was great. I thought it started kind of slow because he went from there was no commentary for like the first half an hour. It was B-roll to like a statement, no commentary and music in the background, B-roll statement, B-roll statement. And it was pretty much saying showing the different groups of the Hebrew is the original Hebrew Israelites um, uh, from Jerusalem that were spread out and it was showing their different customs. And it was, it had pretty much a label. Then you would see like a three minute video of these people. And then you would see another label. I thought there to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. I, was, I think he should have brought commentary there, but it, it, it was fine. The real, when, when it really started it, to me, it was kind of like a 30 minute opening credits, kind of like setting the mold. Yeah. They coming strong. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna turn this. Hold on. Let me let me go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna turn this to um. Give me a second. Let me let me let me turn this to subscriber only comments because they ain't playing today. They 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 coming with it. They not playing today. Um. Hold on. Give me one second. They not going. They, I'm not about to have them in there talking about no um, porn and stuff like that. We talking about something here. We not about to do that. Uh uh. Uh. Hold on. Let me. Give me one second, family. Let me go on. Uh, then, then y'all, then y'all ain't gonna have to worry. Um, they already done limit this video. Wow, <laughs> I ain't said nothing. They already done demonetize it. Yeah, ain't that rich? Ain't that rich? Thanos. Uh, okay, subscribers. Yo, so if you're watching this and you want to comment now, moving forward, you're gonna have to be subscribed at least five minutes. If they still coming, then I'm gonna move it to ten. But please, you should be subscribed to me anyway if you're watching this. Um, I said, Moxie, about to take my video game away. <laughs> oh, you having fun? <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> no, nah, man. Nah, we ain't going to let them do that. Yeah, it's yellow already, Joy. It's yellow already. I just looked at it. I just went in the back. They made it yellow. I, I didn't even say no. I didn't even cuss yet. I didn't even cuss yet. That's why I want to be very careful in what I say here. Because I really do. I just got off the phone. With, with, with we woke now pastor kelly i'm telling them they're coming for pages man they're coming for pages anyway uh let's keep going um uh so let's get that part out of there the, the first part was um you know elongated uh he was going around the world and i thought the only thing missing was a little bit of commentary um now let's get to some of the stuff that i was able to see and point out First of all, I want to say on a personal level, I was familiar with about 70 to 75 percent of the information. That's a lie. Maybe 65 to 70 percent of the information on there. Um, what was the, very impressive about that movie? And I want to let you all know right now that lets me know that this guy, Ron Dalton, it was his purpose to make this movie like that was one of his purposes. And other people could have made this movie. What's up with you, Kitchen Clothes? What's up with you? Um, other people could have made this movie, but it was meant for him to do it because I like the angle that he chose. Um, and what it is, is I was expecting, I was kind of selfish. I was watching it to make sure, not make sure, but I was watching it and I thought that it was going to be all about us. Now, looking back, at that movie, he did it perfect because 
it didn't really have an agenda to it other than saying who the real Israelites was. He even related it to Japanese folks, the Asian folks. He went all around the world. He only spent a little bit of time here in America. And I'm saying this because I was introduced to this material by a Hebrew Israelite. Um, I was able, you, you, when you see messages and you see the truth, sometimes it's the wrong messenger. And I'm not no Hebrew Israelite corporation wise. Um, I was introduced to this by a guy who was a Hebrew Israelite, but this brother was all over the place. And he took me to one of their meetings. They were all over the place. Um, I don't like how they were doing business. They were very corrupt in what they had going on. And that, to be honest with you, that brother that introduced me to this information, I believe he set me up to get jumped on, on a basketball game. I, I really do believe. Petty, I don't care. I stopped dealing with the dude. And uh, I was able to take that information and definitely not one of them an extreme like them. I will say this. I do understand how people can get mad finding this information and them people have gotten very mad and I believe they had turned it into hate. Let me not get off the topic. From being introduced to this by a Hebrew Israelite, you know, they all about what we got going on here. That movie, hey, we woke now. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Y'all make sure y'all go follow we woke now. That movie was not all about us. It was about who the original Hebrew Israelites were. And he went all the way around the world. He went all the way around the world. Some of the African folks that, you know, we have some things to say is proof. That's another thing he did. He pulled out science and he pulled out science and he had references. There were only a few things that he did not have no reference for. I could count them on my hand. This was a three hour and some change movie. It's only a few references. That uh, and I, I see you back here. We will. I'm, we gonna we gonna do it. There was only a few references. There's only a few things that he pointed out that had no reference. It was nicely done. He pointed out the DNA. Uh, he pointed out how the languages connect. He went like, man, he was going down like how in this language this words mean means this, and in Hebrew it means it it means something. It, it will be something similar. African languages, like man. I, I was very impressed by that. That was knowledge I did not know. I, you know, um, I wasn't disappointed it was all about us. I was kind of ecstatic because I became more educated on the topic. Because, yeah, you know, the, 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 these people in the Caribbean, shout out to y'all if y'all on here. Y'all know a lot of them don't like us, all right? And we be having things to say about them too. You know, Mexicans. You know, Mexicans don't like us, all right? We be having things to say about them too. Hey, niggas get shot every day, P. That was the wrong one. But <laughs> they, they be having stuff to say about us, too. But the Mexicans, they one of the tribes. Oh, my gosh, he's talking about Mexico. <laughs> they one of the tribes, whether, you know, you like it or not. Them Haitians, okay? They just landed somewhere different. And I already knew this, but the way this guy pointed it out and he put the DNA with it, he put the science with it. If it was done by, in my opinion, someone from the official, he might be from that, but if he was, if it was done by some of the Hebrew Israelites I had met, it would have been very selfish. And it would have been way, way, it would have been really anti-Semitic. <laughs> it would have been really anti-Semitic. About that anti-Semitic word, first of all, we won't come on here and talk to y'all about that. But if y'all really want to hear some anti-Semitic stuff, go to Brooklyn. I get my hair cut in Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn and just sit in a barbershop for an hour. <laughs> you go, you go hear some stuff. They, the barbershop that I went to, they were the ones that helped me find an apartment. And I say this like my credit was bad. Like my credit was bad. I had a 750. I had to have some people help me find a damn apartment. I go tell that story again. I told it last time. It wasn't all of them. A group of them shifted me around and kept running my credit and took money from me and ran my credit down. It's a known thing that happens in Brooklyn. I told them at the barbershop, they helped me find an apartment. 
they helped me find an apartment. And that's that's me having to deal with. Let me shut up. Let me keep going. Um, one thing that we talked about here on this page that uh, he pointed out too. Um, salute for your honest breakdown. Thank you, Akbar Brooks. Thank you for the five dollars, brother. Thank you. He said, Thaddeus said, they need to pay you, man. You make me want to buy it now. No, nah, man, it, 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 just buy it now, please. That'd be the payment, man. That'd be the payment for me if you just go ahead and buy it, man. And I say buy it, all right, because um, I think they're going to take it down. I, I don't see nothing, no reason why they should, but I'm prepared for them to take it down. And uh, at least you'll get your money back, you know. Um, but renting, you can only rent it for like 24, 48 hours. Go ahead and buy it, man. And ho hopefully the brother put the price down. Um, one thing that he said that we talked about on here, but he displayed it better than I could have in words, is that there's a lot of things that we're not getting, right? And I told my mama this too. There's a lot of things that we're not getting when we pray because we're not praying to, to the right person. And I told my mom this, and this is, these are one of the topics. You know, I have an older mom. This is a topic that it don't matter to her. She's never going to listen. And I just have to let her be. You know, they brainwashed with that whole Jesus thing. And that's why I grew up in a Pentecostal church. They push that name so hard. It's all about the name. Jesus. They just throw it in your head. They beat you in the head with it. Jesus. When, when the times get dark and you're not able to pay your bills, what do you do? You just call upon that name. Jesus. That was never his name. And there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we haven't gotten because we're not praying to the right person. We're not pay, praying to Yahshua, Yahweh. We're praying to Jesus. And that was never his name. So I like how he pointed that out. Um, 372 of y'all in here. Please, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Um, and it ain't. This ain't for nothing monetarily or all when I say hit that like button. I say hit that like button because for those of y'all don't know, y'all not content creators. The more people that like this video, the more it's going to be exposed as I'm doing it and when I'm done with the live stream. It goes with the likes, all right? And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor and subscribe. Now, let's keep going. Um, now, there was one thing that they said. And man, this really hurt. This, 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 it, 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 it really pissed me off. They call this movie a Holocaust denier. And that is just a flat out lie. That is a flat out lie. What he did on there, it was in the beginning. What he said is, is that all the reasons that the Jewish community validate them being the true original Jew, uh, Jews from Israel. And one of the reasons that they put on there is that 6 million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. He never questioned that throughout the whole movie. He never questioned that. He says something that I experienced as a fact. All right. I've had this conversation in college. I had this conversation with my best friend. Right. And one of the things that they always say I'm just saying this, all right, because we woke is going to come on here and he's going to explain they have rules. They have a whole document that they wrote on what anti-Semitism, what defines it. And just bringing up that number, you know, I'm going to let we woke come on here and, and say it. But I don't see how just mentioning that number is anti-Semitism. He never, ever said that that was not the correct number. And there's a lot of people that's going around saying that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to stick to what I told y'all before in the last stream. None of that stuff matters. I'm not really focused on what they got going on. I'm focusing on us knowing this. I have no hatred against that group of people. And I'm not just saying that for this YouTube people, uh, page. I already told y'all. We, we were cursed. Okay? We breaking out of that curse. But we were cursed. All right? Um. So... I was very, I, it's a dark cloud over this country right now. That's another thing. I don't know if y'all feel it. It's like a, a dark spirit I feel when I go outside. 
I don't feel the spirit of God on this type of stuff. I don't. I, I don't. You know? Um, and once again, that's the power of the media. When you're able to take something and turn it into what you want it to. Y'all saw that whole Malcolm X picture I put up. That's the ability they have to take something and turn it into what they want it to, to sound like. Okay? So they said it was um, anti-Semitic, and he said it was Holocaust denier. Holocaust denier is so much of a lie. He never denied that the, the Holocaust and a number of people denied. And I watched that movie. Maybe, maybe it would make maybe 10 seconds. It had to be some kind of 10 seconds that I might have missed. I saw it. I did not see that. All I saw is that it was used for one of the reasons on how they, they say to validate them. Now, the whole thing about that is, to my recollection, there's no prediction about that in the Bible. You could go ahead and reach and try to say, hey, well, they said here and that was the no, 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 no. Because anything you can put to that, I mean, they had a Holocaust here of 300 million, 330 million people, you know? So I six million people died in the Holocaust, okay? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. That ain't got nothing to do with our story, period, all right? But to stick to what I'm telling y'all, he never in there uh, denied the Holocaust at all. If you're looking to watch that and look to seeing some hate and some Holocaust denying, and if you're Jewish watching me right now and you're looking to watch that movie and say, see, he, he's doing my community wrong, he never said that in there. And I know for a fact there's some Jewish people watching this. <laughs> I know for a fact that there's some in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He did not say that about y'all at all. There is some stuff he did say about y'all, which I can't see them saying is anti-Semitic. I'm going to get to that. Give me a second. Then I'm gonna bring on We Woke. I see you back there, dogs. I'm bring you on. Um, what else he put in there? He also talked about the Spanish and the Portuguese that, that was part of that conquistador that they had going on over there and the writings. That's another thing he did. We don't like to talk about the actual official writings of the people from these countries at that time. We always depend on the writings in America and what we were saying at that time. And we know we don't know what the hell we were doing over here. But this was even before America was, was birthed. And he brought up the writings on how they described the Spanish and Portugal Jews who he didn't say this, but I know in my in, in my personal studies that would that they were mixed and pretty much were the same people as the Moors. All right. They want to tell you all the Moors were not. He, no, they were. They were all mixed and mingled. The Moors is not a religion or a belief, all right? Um, but they, they, they were amongst the Moors. It's pretty much the same people, um, and they were dark. They were dark. That's what they were very dark. And, it, and this is not talking from their point of view. This is talking from the Europeans that ran across them, all right? Um, now, here's the part that I can see them saying is anti-Semitic. Let's get to that. Here's the part right here. When uh, he went on there and talked about how the Ashkenazi Jews were able to steal the identity. And I believe it was related to the Spanish and Portugal Jews. Um, I don't want to get into that part of it uh, because don't forget the purpose of this is not to tell you everything this man said in there. It's to first of all, expose the lies said about it, but also to get you to watch the movie. All right. But, yeah, I don't want to necessarily talk about that on, on here right now. But that part, I can see them saying it's anti-Semitic. Because you, you, you have to understand this whole country is built on that. Um, it, it, I don't, I don't want to use this period to talk about that. Because this is really deep. Um, I'm just going to say it's also connected. He didn't go this far. But look it up yourself. The, the Vatican pays Israel money every year. I'm not saying it's connected to any of this. Look it up yourself, though. I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying it's connected to any of this. I'm just going to say look it up yourself. Um, but anyway, that's the part right there that, yeah, they're going to say anti-Semitism. Now, first of all, anything that was questionable in this movie, it was three hours long. 
let's say that him talking about the I, I, I cannot see Jews still in identity was anti-Semitic. Let's say that um, him talking about the Jewish community bringing up that they were killed by uh, um, the Nazis, six million, right? Let's say that all that was anti-Semitism. Out of a three-hour movie that made up about, mm, I don't want to exaggerate, maybe two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two minutes that then that might be exaggerating you, you might be able to say a minute and a half all right um let, let's keep going i'm almost finished with my points um now it was something else that he also mentioned which i was aware of there was one quote that i was not aware of get to that he talked about egypt's president in the 50s and this is a famous quote that i've heard many times where he states that the jewish community um left israel black and it came back white and he declared that that area is never ever ever going they're never going to be the rest in that area that is a proven verifiable statement from the president of egypt that's proven that what he said. He said, you'll never be at a rest there. You'll never be safe there because the original people that were there were black and they came back white. That is just what the man said. It's verifiable. It's on record. And until this day, today, no movies depicting the Jewish community or Egyptians that's made in America is allowed to be played in Egypt. The gods of Egypt, Google it yourself. The gods of Egypt is banned there. You will get uh, banned from Egypt for good. You'll be arrested and then banned from Egypt for good if you play that movie there because they say that, that they peddling lies over here. I'm willing to believe them over us because they've always been from over there. They've been mixed and mingled with the Arabic. First of all, Israel, South, this is not in the movie, this is me right here. Israel, South Africa, America, Australia, all these are places that definitely, I'm going to take Israel out of here so they don't say I'm anti-Semitic. South Africa, Australia, America, these are verifiable places that years ago does not look the way it looks now. It was nothing but colored people there, okay? So a lot of these places have been changed and mixed and mingled, so the pigment of the people there is changed now. But the ones you can 100% verify, there are white South Africans. I made, I, I, I roasted the hell out of this South African dude that tried to talk some stuff to me after a comedy show. And he said, yeah, I'm more African than you. I said, yeah, because y'all almost killed all them people and the UN came over there. So all them people had to die just for you to make a joke and say you're more African than me. He said, oh man, I'm just joking, man. You don't have to take it that serious. I said, no, 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 no. We joking, right? We joking, right? You know, so they'll do little digs at you on stuff like that. All right. These people here, Americans, this place was not full of white people. Now, there's more white people living on this land than anybody. It didn't start off white. Well, let's keep going. He talked about Egypt, the statement that uh, Egypt's president said. He mentioned something that I was not really familiar with, with Henry Ford. Now, once again, I can see them saying that that was anti Semitic, but this is a proven statement that Henry Ford said, and I don't want to repeat it right now. I don't, I don't you got to watch it, you got to watch it. Uh, but he was talking about the Jewish community for those of y'all don't know Henry Ford. Pretty much, if you're talking about canceling people, Henry Ford, all the vehicles over there in Nazi Germany at the time were powered by Henry Ford. I don't understand how he's even able to still do business here if we're talking about canceling people. I don't know how he's able to still make movies or uh, um, um, motor vehicles. All right. He said that. So what else he said? It was a comment um, from a book called The Nazis World War II that Hitler said about um, black people. Now, here is one thing that I wish that he didn't put in there, but this was his movie. He's the director. He put in another thing that I that that. Of course, they they already said that this statement is anti-Semitic. If y'all remember with Deshaun Jackson years ago, Deshaun Jackson got suspended from this. 
And the reason why I want to say I kind of wish he didn't put it in there is because everything he had in there had verifiable sources, okay? And it was backed by signs, either or. This right here that he put up is a age-old comment that, to be honest, and he even put it, said this too, is unverifiable. I think when you have a project that has a whole bunch of verifiable information, you should not put, you should not include something in there that's not verifiable. Okay. And it's that comment that Hitler made about us being the Jews of God. Okay. Do I believe he really said that? Personally, yes. Uh, I don't know where this statement came from. It's never been, been proven, though. It's never been proven. And Deshaun Jackson got suspended for that last year, just got a job a couple years ago. He just got a job now with the Ravens. So he put that in there. Now, there's a third, there's a fourth one he put in there. All this was like going fast too. He wasn't spending time on it. I'm still sticking to what I said. If you put all this together, it only made up about at like two minutes of the whole three hour movie. Okay. He put something in there from Leopold, Leopold II, a comment he made from 1883. Now, those of y'all that are not familiar with Leopold, Leopold, I think is responsible uh, I'm about to bring We Woke on, but Leopold, I think he's responsible for, um, what, 50 million um, deaths in the Congo. He also went into those people was part of a tribe. <laughs> they were one of the tribes. Killed 60 million of them. 60 million of them. But he put a statement out, and he wanted to talk about how to stop those dark-skinned people. Um and he said one of the ways of doing it was through Christianity and through the Beatitudes. And remember, I told y'all this, I told y'all this before, that around this topic, I don't condone it, but I can understand anger. I can understand anger around this topic. And I say that because if you're not knowledgeable about this or have a little knowledge about this, and then someone tells you this, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be full of rage. You'll be full of rage. Because it, when I first found out about all of this stuff, I saw how it translated in my personal life. And I saw how what I came to the conclusion, I was lied to. So, yeah, I had a year or two of rage. I did. I got over it now. And I say that to say, when I heard this comment, I got a little bit mad. Because... It's something that the churches do do. And it's something that pretty much was drilled in my head that I'm fighting right now, which Leopold said that you need to keep them poor minded and you need to have them focus on the B attitudes. What are the B attitudes? Blessed are the poor for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. For if you're rich, you can't get into heaven. And I was raised in a Pentecostal church and that's what they focused on. And I'm not, I don't regret what happened in Hollywood, but there was a little bit self-sabotage going on with Hollywood. It wasn't all Hollywood. Some of it was self-sabotage with me because I was taught if I get too big, if I make too much money, it's impossible for me to make it to heaven. And what he pointed out is that started with Leopold. So that one made me pretty upset. Leopold also talked about, and there were also writings of this black guy that knew voodoo black magic. <laughs> that was Yahshua. And he also talked about how we need to move and get them to not believe and take away that voodoo from them because that's what to them, it was voodoo. Don't forget, these people ain't got no God. So to them, it was voodoo, you know, black magic, miracles or whatever. So Leopold were one of the people and others too that I was talking about getting their mind off of that, making them not believe in that so the powers could go away. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's what that wasn't from Leopold. That was from a Roman Jewish historian of when they captured Jerusalem and they started their writings on Yahshua and they included that in there. They was like, this is this guy there. He, you know, he has these locks. He's short. He has a hunchback. He's a regular, average, shabby-looking guy, dark-skinned, and he knows magic. They wrote that. They wrote that when they captured Jerusalem and ran across him. All right? It's 485 y'all in here. Please do me a favor. Hit that like button if you haven't yet. 
If you haven't yet, all this stuff is free. All of it's free. Hit that like button and please subscribe. Okay. Um, so yeah, he has some stuff about there talking about Yahshua. Now, I'm gonna wrap it up with this, and then I'm about to bring on We Woke. Um, one thing he talked about at the end um is that, and I appreciated it, and it stuck out to me is he talked about his personal experience uh, with this and you know how he came to this knowledge of him being born and how his father passed it down and how he felt from the moment that he was born that it was part of his purpose to put this out. Now the most high, blessed, blessed be the most high because that right there tells me that everything he putting out is truth. He was carried to this position of where he is right now. He said, from the moment I was born, I knew this was part of my mission. And for him to actually see it be validated in his face, that ain't nothing other than God. I'm going to tell you just right now, it can't be the middle. We know how America teaches us, and it is true. The world used to be black and white. We created gray areas, okay? But when it comes to this topic, ain't no gray area. It's neither black or it's white. And what I'm saying is, what he did and what we are talking about, it's neither one or the other. I don't think it's great. Neither we are pushing devil's lies or this is the most high doing this. All right. It ain't it ain't in the middle. It ain't in the middle. And I don't see how after seeing what you just saw this past week and after seeing this movie, I don't see how you can say that this is from the devil. I don't think the devil want anybody to know about this. I don't think the devil want anybody to know about this right now.